Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Waffle Flower Crafts. In today's technique video, I'll be showing you how to extract ink using a chamois to create some really beautiful backgrounds. I'll be using these Waffle Flower products today. First up is the brand new Bouquet Builder. I'll be using this stamp set as well as the matching dies. I'll be also using the new Rainbow stamp set. Just the stamp set today, not going to use the dies. And then I'll be using the a2 nesting rectangles one die as well. I've already gone and die cut a panel, an A2 panel, using the largest die from the A2 nesting rectangles one die set. That just adds a beautiful stitched border around the panel. The paper that I'm using today is Bristol paper. This paper will hold up to the water, the water that I'm going to introduce to the panel. So it's really important you want to use something like Bristol or watercolor paper for today's technique. I've got three shades of Distress inks. I'm using Salty Ocean, Peacock Feathers, and Wilted Violet. I'm just going to really simply blend these three inks over this A2 panel really simple blending. I'm not worried about um, perfect smooth transitions here because of today's technique it will kind of hide some of your flaws. So if you do struggle with ink blending this is a great technique for um, smoothing out your blending and just really adding um, some variation to your background. Again just really simply I'm putting I start with one shade at a time so I started with Salty Ocean. I typically start with my lightest shades first and then I moved to Peacock Feathers and now I'm doing some wil Wilted Violet. And I will get a little bit of Wilted Violet in all those remaining um, white spots and then I'm going to go back over with my starting back with the Salty Ocean and then working my way back through the other colors just to add like a second layer just to build up the intensity. The more color you have, or I should say the darker colors you choose, the better this technique looks. And I started with basically kind of, well these are darker colors, not as dark as it could get, but I started with some medium kind of shades for to demonstrate this technique for you guys. So now that this ink blending is all done, I'm just going to hold it to the camera so you can see. It's nice and dark. As you can see, not perfect ink blending, but again, not worried about that because the technique's going to hide any of the flaws. So now I'm going to show you the chamois that I'm using. I purchased this on Amazon. It's called the Absorber. It comes in a very large sheet. It's rolled up inside here. I'll pull it out so you can see it. This is what I actually use to clean my stamps. It works great for cleaning stamps because it doesn't leave any lint like baby wipes do. So you can see that's why this is so dirty, this chamois, because I've been using it to clean my stamps. But today I'm going to kind of bunch it up like you see here. So I have lots of folds and then I'm going to smush it down onto my paper lightly and it's picking up the ink and leaving this beautiful uh, wrinkled folded texture behind and once I cover the whole panel it almost looks ethereal. It's just very really very very pretty and very easy to do. This chamois is wet but it's wrung out several times because what will happen if you haven't used a chamois um, before it will dry out and get really hard so you have to kind of re-wet it, squeeze it, kind of like a sponge under the water to get it softened again but once I've got it softened again I wring it out really well so it's not dripping wet, it's just a little bit of water and they're basically the same consistency you would use to clean your stamps. So this is all done. I did have a little uh, droplets of water on there, that's why I have spots on that one side, but you can see that beautiful um, folds and kind of texture that, that that chamois creates on the surface. I'm going to do it one more time here. This time I ink blended with three Distress Oxides. I used Twisted Citron, Cracked Pistachio, and Lucky Clover. Again, I bunched up my chamois here to get kind of some folds because I want that texture, and I'm going over really quickly just pouncing the surface and you can see the beautiful folds and bends and almost fog or smoke-like texture it creates on the surface. It's just so cool and so easy to do. And that's all done. 
So it works just as well for distress oxides as distress inks. And don't be fooled, this one, the distress oxide one, the green one, seems lighter. That's just because I use lighter shades. So if you use darker distress oxides, you'll have a more pronounced pattern as well, like the first one I did with the distress inks. So now I'm just going to do some simple stamping here. I'm pulling out some of the beautiful flowers and leaves from the Bouquet Builder set, stamping it on some white cardstock, 110 pound white cardstock, using Memento Tuxedo Black because I'm going to do some Copic coloring here. I'm just going to ink up these stamps, stamp them down, and then I will ink them up and stamp them one more time just so I have bold, uh, crisp images. I love this new flower set. It was illustrated by Helen Dardick. The blooms are so beautiful and they are just so fun to color, which is what I'm going to do next. So I'm just going to do some simple Copic coloring to these images. I'm going to have my colors that I'm using on screen here and so you can follow along. And I'm going to play some music and I will meet you back at the end when I'm just about finished coloring these flowers and leaves up. Okay, so I'm back here and just about done. I'm not going to show you how I color everything because I use the same color combos. Uh, so those little flowers I'll color just like I did that large kind of rose with the purple and blues. And I did color another rose with more of the orange, yellow, pink combo. So um, I didn't show you everything because it's just the same colors just on a different flower or leaf. Okay, so now I'm showing you that I die cut all the flowers and leaves out with the matching dies, so the Bouquet Builder matching dies. Now I'm using the rainbow stamp set, pulled off a sentiment that says, you are my everything. I'm going to stamp this on some black cardstock. I'm going to do it in Versa Mark because I am going to do some uh, heat embossing. So I'm just inking this up. I did put some anti-static powder down first just to make sure that that embossing powder 
only sticks to my sentiment nowhere else dipping my uh, sentiment into the white embossing powder and then heat setting it I did trim it and now I'm ready to assemble so I have my two card panels here and I'm going to adhere them onto their card bases in just a second so those are my card bases I also have all my flowers and uh, sentiment strips I've already added foam tape to the back of the sentiments as well as all the flowers and leaves. So I'm just showing you there that I've already added foam tape to the back. The first thing I'm going to do is adhere these um, background panels onto my A2 top folding card bases. I'm just using some liquid adhesive. My favorite is the Tombow Mono Multi-Liquid Adhesive. It's really great for thick paper like this Bristol paper or watercolor paper. It holds beautifully. So I just glued those panels down. Now I'm removing the backing on all the foam tape that I cut on the back of the flowers and now I'm ready to stick them down. So I'm just going to arrange them here and I'm going to arrange the on the green panel. I'm just going to kind of arrange towards the lower right corner. I'm going to also use most of my flowers for this card as well and just make a nice little kind of like a bouquet almost at the lower right corner. And then I will do my sentiment up at the top. I really like the contrast of that black and white brings out all those sharp lines um, in the stamped images as well. So for the second panel I'm going to just use one bloom that one uh, purple and blue kind of rose that I colored and just going to place that right above almost centered but right above the uh, sentiment and these cards are done. So I can hold up to the camera here and you can really see all that beautiful texture that that chamois creates on the, your background. It's just so cool and it was just so easy to do. And here's the green one. This one I did in Distress Oxides. Works just as well Distress Oxides. It's just I used lighter shades there so you don't, the definition is not as pronounced because the contrast is not as, uh, as much. And here's one where I used some more Distress inks. Uh, nice dark colors again so you can really see the extraction of the ink with the chamois. You really see those folds. I hope you guys enjoyed today's technique today. If you want any more information on the products I use, please visit waffleflower.com and you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.